Hey guys, I'm Ellery and this is Valley STEM. This is the second week of Valley STEM's Tinkercad lessons. If you missed the first video, make sure to check it out right now to get all the information you need to participate in this week's activity. The link to the video will be on our YouTube channel or on our website, or in the email that was sent to you before today's lesson. Last week, we learned a little about engineers, what they do, and the software they use to do their jobs. We learned that engineers are people who design and build things to solve problems. Last week, we learned about different kinds of engineers, such as aerospace, electrical, and civil engineers. We learned that engineers design and build things to solve problems, and that they use CAD to make their designs. Today, we're going to be learning more about how Tinkercad works, and we're going to be designing something of our very own. We're going to show you guys how to make a robot in Tinkercad. To get to Tinkercad, type tinkercad.com in the search bar. You should already be logged in from last week, but if you aren't, click the sign in button in the top right hand corner. Then, if you're a part of one of our scheduled events, click the screen button here that says students join your class. If you aren't a part of one of our scheduled events, use the email or username you used last week to sign in. If you're a part of a scheduled event, pause the video here and type in this class code. Once you've typed in the code, it'll take you to this page here where you're going to type in your nickname. Your nickname is going to be your first name and, the, um, and your last initial, so the first letter of your last name. And you're going to type that into the box that says type your nickname. For example, my name is Ellery and the first letter of my last name is A. So my username is going to be Ellery A, all one word, all lowercase. Once you've typed that in, press that's me and it'll take you to this page here. Finally, click the blue button that says create new design and it'll take you to your workspace for Tinkercad. Feel free to pause the video um, at any point during this process or to go back to any step that you're unclear about or a step that you might have missed. Now that you're all signed in, we're going to teach you how to navigate Tinkercad and how to place and move all the shapes that you're going to be using for your designs. Feel free to pause at any point in the video or rewind if you miss a step and resume when you're ready to move on. You should be looking at your Tinkercad workspace. You'll see a big blue box with uh, the words work plane in the bottom left hand corner. This is where you'll be doing all of your designs. On the right hand side of the screen, there's a long list of shapes that you can scroll through. You can also click this uh, white window up here and you can see that um, a little text box pops up that says find more shapes. You can see there's a ton of different categories with more shapes for you to choose from. To drag a shape to begin using it in your design, click the shape, click the box for now, and then click again when it's in the position uh, you want it to be on your work plane. Right now, you can see that this box is selected because there's a blue line that goes all the way around the shape. If I click somewhere um, off of the shape, it deselects, but right now I'm not able to um, change its size or do anything with it. To select it, just click it again. You'll notice that when I select the box, a bunch of these little white squares pop up. Try um, grabbing one of these white squares, holding it, and then um, dragging it in any direction. Do you see how this changes the size of the box? Now try doing the same thing with the other white squares. By dragging the white squares, you're able to adjust the size of your shape. You can make your shapes taller by dragging the white square that's on top of your shape, or you can make it thinner, wider, whatever you want. You're able to totally customize uh, your shapes in here. Now try clicking the black arrows that are also on your shape. You should see that there are these curved arrows on the sides, and if you select those curved arrows, you're able to change the angle, to tilt your box, to just do a ton of different stuff with it. If you click this arrow that's on the top of your box, you're able to change where it is vertically. You're able to lift it up in the air on your work plane. To look at your shape from different viewpoints, which you're going to have to do a lot when you're working on your design, click on this white box in the top left hand corner. If you click and drag, you're able to rotate uh, the viewpoint that you're looking at your shape with. 
You can also just select the different sides. Like if I clicked uh, this top face on this white cube, it'll show me the top view of my shape. And then I can click these arrows to change uh, the different perspectives. If you're trying to move your shape around, make sure that you grab the box itself and not any of these arrows or white boxes. Just click somewhere that's just on the shape and you can move it around your work plane. Okay guys, so as you can see, I deleted the box from my work plane. Uh, that's just because we're not gonna be using the box shape just yet. To delete it from your work plane, uh, make sure that it's selected. That means that there's this blue line around the shape and you can press the backspace button on your keyboard or you can press this trash icon in the top left-hand corner. So to get started working on a robot, I'm going to pick this orange cylinder shape and I'm going to turn it into a leg for our robot. Um, feel free to make this shape whatever color you want. I'm going to make my leg light green. So first, I'm going to teach you guys a trick that will make making your robot a lot easier. So say you make a change to your shape that you want to undo. For example, say I wanted to undo the color change I just made to it. To do this, you can press this back arrow in the top left hand corner. It's the undo button. When you click it, it'll undo the previous change. So yeah, so getting started, I'm going to make my robot's leg a little bit thinner. And then um, by grabbing the top white box, I'm gonna drag it up. I'm gonna make my robot just a little bit taller. Feel free to make it whatever height you want and whatever color you want. You can totally customize your robot to however you want it to look. So another trick I have for you guys, in addition to the undo button, is if you select your shape and press this icon in the top left-hand corner, which is the two overlapping squares, this will copy your shape and then if you press the button right next to it with the clipboard, it'll paste it. So you can copy whatever shape you want. So you have two totally identical shapes. So there you have it. There are two legs for the robot. Again, you can customize it however you want. I'm just showing you how I'm making it. So now that we have the legs done, I think it's time to start on the body. So I'm going to drag the red box onto the work plane and I'm going to make it a little bit wider and a little bit taller. Again, to change the shape of your robot, you grab these white boxes, and then to bring the body of your robot up to sit on top of the legs, you drag this black arrow on top of your shape. And then once it's at the right height, you can move it around so it's on top of your legs. And then you can adjust to make sure everything fits. And just you can change the view if you need to get a better viewpoint on it. And there you go. I think I'm happy with that. So right now, if you look at my screen, you can see part of our robot done. You can see a robot's body sitting on two green legs. Okay, so now that we have our legs and body for our robot, next you're going to be working on the arms. So for my arms, I'm going to drag in the box shape. And... Again, I'm gonna change the color, and this time I think I'm gonna make it this orange color. So in order to make it look like an arm, we're gonna change the shape so it's not just a perfect box. I'm going to make it shorter by grabbing the top white rectangle, and then I'm going to make it longer and make it thinner, just so that it looks like what you think a robot arm would look like. And then you can change the view to make sure it looks like how you want it to look. And then it's time to bring it up to the right height. And remember to change the height and position, you use the black arrow here. You get it up to the height where you want your arm and then you can adjust its position just like that. So now our robot has an arm. And then again, um, to copy your shape, so you have an exact replica, so you've got two of the same arm, you press this button in the top left corner and then you can press the paste button right to the right. And there you go. Now our robot has two arms. And once again, you can change the length, the position, the color, customize it to however you want. Okay guys, so now that our robot has arms, it's time to give our robot a head. So I'm going to drag the box shape onto the work plane one more time. 
And I have another trick for you guys to make working with Tinkercad a little bit easier. If you're working on a laptop or a computer or just something that has a keyboard, if you hold the shift key while you are changing the size of your shape, it'll keep it proportional. So what that means is instead of getting thinner or becoming a rectangle instead of a perfect box, if you hold the shift key while you change the size, it'll stay proportional. So it'll stay that perfect box cube shape. Okay, so now that you guys know that trick, it should be a little bit easier making some of your shapes and changing their sizes. So back to making the head for a robot, I'm going to make the robot's head. For me, I'm gonna make it light green, the same color as those legs. But once again, feel free to make it whatever color you want um, and whatever size you want. So now that I've got it to the right size, I'm going to lift it up using the black arrow on top of the shape to the right height so that it's at the right height to sit on top of a robot's body. And then I'm just going to drag it where I want it to be so it's in the right position. I'm going to change the view so I make sure everything's right. And just get it where I want it to be. And there you go. Now our robot has a head. So now that we have the basic components for a robot, it's time for the fun part. So here, you're gonna just be able to customize your robot however you want, make it look however you wanna look, add uh, maybe a face or some hands or some feet, maybe some buttons on his body or an antenna on his head. And once again, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can scroll through and look at all these different shapes and you can also click up here at the Tinkercad basic shapes and you can see that there are a ton more options for you to use. And one tool that might be fun for you guys to use is this scribble tool. So if you drag the scribble shape onto your work plane, it actually allows you to draw whatever shape you want. So here I'll just draw just a little quick smiley face and then if you click done, you have your very own smiley face shape. So yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. Um, feel free to also pause here and make the robot on your own. I'm going to continue to make the robot so you can look at it just in case you get stuck or you want some inspiration, but try and do it on your own first and see what you can come up with. Okay, so hopefully you took a little bit of time and you paused this video to try and make the robot, the rest of the robot on your own and to customize it however you wanted to. But if you got stuck or if you just want to see what I did um, or if you're all done, then here you go. Here is what I'm going to do to make the rest of my robot. So I looked through the shapes a bit on the right hand side and I think that this half sphere would make a good eye for my robot. So first I'm going to make it a lot smaller because this will not fit right to be an eye on my robot. So to do that, I'm going to press the shift key, hold down and I'm gonna just make it smaller. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, I'm going to use those, if I can ever get my Tinkercad to zoom in at the right place, but I'm gonna use these side arrows to make it, um, to make it so that it'll be at the right angle to sit, to have the flat face of the shape fit on the robot's face. So you can just press the arrow and then type in 90 degrees and that's how you get it to turn um, to get at the right angle or you can just drag that arrow till it looks right to you. But once I have that done, I'm going to use the pointy black arrow on top and I lift it up to the right height. And if you ever get in a weird uh, orientation or you're looking at your shape in a weird way, you can press this home button here and it'll take you back to kind of the default setting. And then you can move it and just adjust to where you need it to be. And I think that looks about right. And to make my second eye, I'm going to do what we've been doing. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. And there you go. Now my robot has two pink eyes. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I'm going to make my eyes, mm, I'll make them red. I think that's a good robot color. Okay, and then there we go. 
there's my robot with two eyes. One of them looks a little bit different than the other, so I think I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. And I think that that should be closer to being identical. Okay. So even though the eyes are a little bit different size, I think that's a-okay. Um, now I'm going to get started on giving my robot a mouth. And to do that, I think I want to give him a smiley face. So I'm going to use this round roof shape. And I'm going to use those arrows once again to turn it upside down. This time we're going to go 180 degrees. Just like that. And now, if you look at it, it looks like a smiley face. Or, I guess, just the smile. But I'm going to make it black. I'm going to get it about where I think it should be. And then I'm going to use that pointy black arrow to bring it up to the right height. Turns out it is way too big for my robot's face. So I'm going to hold down the shift key um, to keep it proportional. And I'm going to make it a whole lot smaller. And then just try and get it into the right position. And there you go. I think that looks right to me. Now my robot has a has a wonderful smile. Okay, so now that my robot has a face, I'm going to give my robot an antenna that sits on top of his head. So first, I'm going to use, let's use this polygon shape just because we haven't used it before. So first, I'm going to make it a whole lot thinner and then I'm going to make it taller. And then for another part of my antenna, I'm going to use this sphere. I'm going to hold the shift key so that it stays um, a perfect sphere. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to lift it up to the right height. And I'm going to drag it on top of the wire part of my antenna. Okay, so I have another tip for you guys. So I've used two shapes to make my antenna. If I want to just click and drag this thing as one shape, I need to group them together. So to do that, what you can do is you can either hold, um, hold and click on your mouse and drag this box shape over both of the shapes, or I can press and hold the shift key while I select each shape and it selects both at the same time. Then what you're going to do, once you have both shapes selected, is you're going to go up here in the top right hand corner and you're going to press this, uh, this button up here that if you hover over it, it says group. When I do that, it morphs the two shapes together so now it's one shape, just like that. And once I've done that, then I'm going to lift it up to the right height get it on top of my robot's head and I'm going to just lower it a little bit. Oh, I need to change the view so I have a better perspective. I'm going to get it just in the right position. I'm going to lower it a little bit and there you go. Now my robot has an antenna. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do to customize my robot is I'm going to give him some feet so it's easier for him to walk. So I'm going to use the box shape again. And this time I'm going to make it a little bit, oh, I need to change the viewpoint. I'm gonna make it shorter. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. And then I'm just gonna drag it right in the correct position. That looks like a good shoe for my robot to me, a good foot. Then I'm going to use the copy button. I'm gonna paste just like we've done before. And I'm gonna put the second one in position, and there you go. Now my robot has two feet. That wraps up our walkthrough of how to design your very own robot in Tinkercad. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about what it's like to be an engineer, and I hope you enjoyed making your robot. 
If you're a part of one of our scheduled library or Zoom events, please log on to our Zoom call to talk about what we did today and to show us your robot design. If you're not a part of a scheduled event and if you have any questions, please email us at questions at valleystem.org. Great work today and we hope to see you soon for another lesson.